Microsoft Word Basics. This video will show the basics of using Microsoft Word. First, open Microsoft Word. If you have a Microsoft Word icon on your desktop or taskbar, you can click on the icon to open the program. If you don't see an icon, you can find Microsoft Word in the list of programs on your Start menu. After you open Microsoft Word, in most cases, you will need to select Blank Document to open a new document. Once this is done, you have a blank page. You can type a sentence, a paragraph, a whole paper, a resume, and many other things. First, I will type my name at the top of the paper. Then, I will press Enter on the keyboard to continue on the next line. Then, I will type my title, Stress. Titles are usually centered, so to center the title, I highlight the word Stress by clicking and dragging my mouse over the word. Then I go to Paragraph on the Home tab and choose the icon for Center. This will center my text. Now I am ready to type a paragraph. Most paragraphs start with an indent. To indent the first line, press the Tab button one time. Then begin to type. If you make an error, like I did just now, you can use the backspace button on your keyboard to erase. Then you can continue typing. As you can see, important has a red line underneath it. This means that the word is spelled incorrectly. I can go back to the word with my mouse, hover the cursor over the word, right-click, and select the word that I wanted to use. I meant to say important. Click on important, and it will be inserted into the Word document. Now click on the end of the sentence to continue typing. Now that I have my paragraph, I can change the way it looks. To change the text, I highlight all of the text by clicking and dragging my mouse over all of the words. Use the tools in font under the Home tab to change the font style, the font size, and even the font color. I can also change the words to be bold. To make all the words bold, I click B. To italicize the words, I click I. To underline all of the words, I click on U. To undo one of these actions, I just click on the letter again. I will remove the italics and underline, but leave my words bold. I can also change how my words are spaced. Right now, all of my words are single-spaced. I want to make them double-spaced. To change the spacing, I will leave my words highlighted and go to Paragraph on the Home tab and choose the icon for Line and Paragraph Spacing. I will scroll down the list and click on 2.0. This will double-space my paragraph. I like how my text looks, so I will press Enter again to go to a new line. Now I will insert an image into Word. When you insert images, it's easiest if you already have an image saved to your computer. To insert an image, select Insert and click on Picture. Next, look for your picture where you saved it. I saved my picture in the Pictures folder, so I will look there. When you find your image, select it and click Insert. Now the image is in my document. 
I can adjust the size of the picture by clicking on the corner and dragging. I can also move the picture around if I want to by clicking on the border. When you are finished with your document, you will want to save your document before you close it. After all of your changes have been made, you need to save your document. To save your document, click the File tab and select Save As. Then select the location you want to save your file. Then type the name of your document in the box next to the words File Name and click Save. If you are using a school computer, be sure to ask your teacher where to save your document. I am using my own computer. I am going to save my file on the desktop. I click the File tab, then select Save As. Next, I click This PC and select Desktop. Then, I am going to type Stress Paragraph and Pictures next to the file name and click Save. Now my file is saved to my desktop. You have learned the basics of Microsoft Word. Now it's your turn to try it. You can watch the video again or ask your teacher if you have questions.